Hi everyone! Welcome to our learning activity video on Senior High School General Mathematics, Quarter 2, Milk Number 6. The objective is to distinguish between simple and general annuities. Let's start! What is a simple annuity? Here is an example. Suppose Rodrigo, a high school student, would like to save 5,000 pesos annually in a fund that gives 10% compounded annually. How much is the amount or future value of his savings after 4 years? This is a simple annuity because of the payment interval we have here annually and the interest period or compounding annually. 10% compounding annually. So this is the interest period. It's yearly or annually. If these two payment interval and interest rate period are the same, then we can say that we have a simple annuity. For the general annuity, take a look at the difference. Let me read the problem. Suppose Rodrigo, a high school student, changed his mind and decided to save 5000 annually in a fund that gives 10% compounded semi-annually. How much is the amount or future value of his savings after 4 years? In here, same payment interval, 5000 yearly or annually. But take a look at the interest rate period. It is compounded semi-annually. So the annually here in the payment interval and the semi-annually in the interest rate period are not the same. So we have a general annuity. That's basically the difference between the simple and general annuity. Now we have the cash flow time diagram for a simple annuity. So we have here... For the payment interval, we have the amount reflected here for each year. Okay, so the present value, the future value, and this line of, of course, indicates the years. So on the first year, 5,000, second year, 5,000, and so on. So payment interval is annually or yearly. In this case, from 0 to 1, 1 year, so this is the interest rate period and it's annually also so meaning if the payment interval and the interest rate period are the same we have a simple annuity cash flow time diagram for general annuity we have here the uh, payment interval is still in uh, yearly yearly payment interval here and the compounding interest rate period is every six months so we have semi-annually so in this case the payment interval which is annually and the interest rate period which is semi or semi-annually are not the same so we have a general annuity so we have the direction for the exercise number one okay so just read it or you can pause this video and read it aloud let me go directly to exercise number one Read and understand each problem. Identify the given if the given problem is simple annuity or general annuity. For number one, you win a lottery and receive 50,000 pesos every month at a rate of 0.2% compounded every year. So is this a simple annuity or a general annuity? What is the payment interval? Every month. It's monthly. What is the interest rate period or the term for interest rate? It's compounded every year. So, monthly is the payment interval and the interest period is annually. So, for the answer, this is a general annuity. Number two, Barry intends to borrow money as capital for his business. To pay it off, he will pay 10,000 pesos at the end of every month. For five years, the money is compounded by 5% quarterly. Payment interval is monthly and the compounding period of the interest rate is quarterly. This is an example of a general annuity. For number three, AJ, a promising pop star, plans to save money for the future. 
she will set aside 5,000 pesos at the end of every month and put it on an investment company where her money will grow by 4.5% monthly. She will do this for 20 years. Well, payment interval is every month, so monthly. And we have the interest period is every month also or monthly. So it's a simple annuity. For number four, Art wants to earn his first million 15 years from now. To do this, he will save money at the end of every two months and put it on an investment company where his money will grow by 6.4% semi-annually. Take note, the payment interval is every two months. And the uh, compounding period of the interest is semi-annually. So it's a general annuity. For number five, Helen started to join in Barangay's cooperative and agreed to contribute 3,000 pesos per month starting in January 2021, which will earn 4.1% compounded monthly. So this is a simple annuity. Payment and interval monthly is the same as the compounding interest rate period. For exercise number two, given the following figures, do the following tasks. A. Determine the payment interval. B. Determine the interest period. And C. Distinguish whether the figure is simple annuity or general annuity. For number one, we have this here. So the payment interval is, we take a look at this. So it's annually or yearly. And it's semi-annually is the interest rate period. So we have... For letter A, answer is payment interval is annually. For letter B, determine the interest period. It's semi-annually because this is every six months. And for letter C, annually here, semi-annually, they are not the same. So for letter C, general annuity. For number two, the payment interval is annually and the interest period is annually. So we have here the answer for letter A, it's annually, and letter B, it's annually also. So for letter C, we have a simple annuity. For number three, payment interval is every month, and interest period is every month. So answer for letter A, we have monthly, letter B, monthly. So we have for letter C, answer is simple annuity. For number four, payment interval is every quarterly. That's for letter A. And the interest period, letter B, is monthly. So we have the general annuity. For the guide questions, number one, what data or clues do you need to look up to in the problem or figure for you to be able to distinguish whether it is simple annuity or general annuity? Well, possible answers would be payment interval and interest period. For number two, how do you differentiate simple annuity from general annuity? Well, this is the possible answer. You can state your answer in a different way. In simple annuity, the payment interval and interest period are the same. In general annuity, the payment interval and interest period are not the same. If you are not yet a subscriber of my channel, kindly subscribe and please don't forget to like and share. And if you are a subscriber, you will be updated with more uploads for these learning activity videos. Thank you and always stay happy, healthy, and safe. Bye!